it's up for discussion. Praise his ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbyet. You know McGlubbyet, a tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as goomless as the rest of them. Cause I'm loyal to McGlubbyet. Cause I ain't having my head turned by some upstart god. Yeah. And I can see by that mark on your hand that you're part of a mop. So bollocks to you and bollocks to her and all.
These boots have seen everything. I am fury. I am death. Appendage. Blood follows me everywhere. Black is cast save him earth crush head. This'll be mean. You gore-bellied, purulent horse-ass! I will ascend. Is that...? Blood? No, never mind. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. 
Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. I'm becoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. Parasites in your head that... You mean you have one of them? Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let's see what we can do. There's a chokehold of magic binding the creature to you. Any efforts to remove it would almost certainly kill you. Or worse. Your resolve is most admirable. It'll serve you well for where you've to go. Moonrise Towers. That place is where the cultists send their captives. Innocents go in, true souls come out. It has to be the source of this magic. Be glad it did, or you'd be a true soul by now. It's immensely powerful, whatever it is. Strong enough to slow Ceramorphosis to a crawl. Luckily, that gives you more time. Gladly, but first I must return to the Grove. As you made short work of the Goblin's leaders, there's nothing stopping me. Come join me in your own time. I can see to some matters there. And we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. I wanna hear a new song. I could write something in the Absolute's honor if I knew more about her. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Him! Nah. Don't mind. Keeps him safe from me mates. <laughs> Raids make him rabbit. Then catch one on your own. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Snatch him up. No tell him what they'll do to him. Bring him back when he's all tuckered out. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Over here! Over here! Haha! <laughs> Look at this! I'm quite saved! A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. 
I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. That will sound ridiculous. But fine, if you insist, as much as it pains me to cede creative control. Once I've written you into one of my books, there won't be a tavern in Faerun you can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful too. I'd be happy to share my findings once we've found somewhere safe to parley. An invisibility potion, my friend. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God, it'll do the trick. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! temple. There's a hidden passage. But Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They, 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 they said they'd eat him. P please, free me. You don't need me anymore. Thank you so much. Before they catch us, I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakan would reward us if we found it. That's all.
Scouts just reported. The goblins' leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Hal Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us, no armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave, but perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. My people are ready to leave when you are. Excellent. Lead the way. As you approach the camp, you hear the sound of a celebration in full swing. I hope you'll pardon them. They meant to wait for you. But it's been some time since they've had cause to celebrate. I'm glad to see they haven't forgotten how. Will you join them? I suppose we could at that. I came out here to think, plan out our next steps. But you're right, the road will still be there in the morning. Come then. I hope you will forgive the pageantry, a custom we developed in Avernus. The sky there is utterly black. We took to filling it with stars of our own, to think of better nights in brighter places. Maybe we should forget the city. Live up here, under the stars. It's a bed and a roof for me. 
But off you go, Master Ranger. Without you. Nights such as this one, with a light for every life you've saved. I love you. Oh, ah, yes. Volo also wished to show his appreciation. as sour as this ale. We're supposed to be celebrating. You recall how I love you. <laughs> but that's not Very what happened. Well, go bother someone else then. Yes. You have no idea how good it feels oh, to see I'm these sure people the smiling. Um, no. The singing we could probably do without. But even so, thank you. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shah. But there'll be time for penance later. Shadowheart trails off and glances around at the party. She turns back to you, mildly surprised you're still there. I thought you might have wanted to mingle with the others. We should go down and see the water. No. But I thought you might be keen to get away from me. We haven't always seen eye to eye, after all. Besides, I'm sure there's plenty of people who'll be keen to celebrate most thoroughly with you. Maybe you would. But I'm not cruel enough to get your hopes up, in spite of what some might believe. you do, do you? I'm not some dewy-eyed tiefling maiden you just saved. You'll need to do a lot more legwork before I commit to any hip work. How about... What? Some advice on how to make me more bearable? If you like. I'm not half as mysterious as you might think. Respect my privacy, my beliefs. Keep us focused on finding the cure. If you do that, well, I see no reason why we shouldn't get closer. Now, enough about me. I mean, you've seen the way Gail's been stealing looks at you. Go on, see if you want something. Or someone. I wonder what the next move is. No harm in a little conversation. 
I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Niogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. A pity for us both you've turned your back on me so often. Perhaps. Perhaps not. I will take pleasure when I wish, and from whom I wish. One day fortune may favor you. Something's on my mind. Think of it. No more caves. No more terrors. No more running away. Here, we'll be in a city a with roads and markets and, and you homes. Go, Ranger. Without you? No. I love you. Ugh, I love you. My pint. I need to dance. <laughs> no. No, I need to lie down. Shari! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. These boots have seen everything. Thank you. Come now. This is a night for celebration, not suspicion. I thank you for seeking me out. Amidst all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to make merry. Just the two of us. As they say in Waterdeep, in wine there is truth. That's usually followed by, in water there is good sense. Good sense? We'll have to wait till the morrow. Too bad. One should never be afraid to live life to the fullest. But before you go, I know there are many things about me that remain shrouded in mystery. You've been very patient with me, and I appreciate that. You've given me powerful magic to consume when I needed it most. You know of my condition and its challenges. But those are but the broad strokes. The time has come to paint you the true picture. Um, no. I can only hope my tale will live up to your expectations. Tonight, of course, we celebrate. And I won't keep you any longer. Tomorrow night, though, you're in for quite the bedtime story. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. Still, I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on the head and vinegar for wine. <laughs> By all means, go and enjoy yourself. I'll be here, waiting for the sunrise. It's all dark and muddy. Private, too. There he is, the man himself. Let us raise a glass to freedom from tyranny. May we hew a clear path for the downtrodden to travel. To you, a legend in the making, and to the blade, another wrong righted, another page written. None of that poetic stuff. Something like. <sighs> your heart beats strong, friend. I'm proud to fight at your side. Now go off. Have your fun. 
I've got a tank of keeping me company. Live a little. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. We should have had wine more often. More warming than the fire. I trust you celebrated most heartily. Curious. I wonder if the tadpole shares in your suffering the morning after. I did. And it's high time we talked about your problem. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but... It's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. These tadpoles the bay one master. If the Gaeth have united in a single creed, my queen is in danger. Once we are cleansed, we infiltrate Moonrise Towers. Should there be Gaeth, we snatch their heads one by one. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings. Tormented. Dangerous souls. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicius. I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. You'll need to pick it up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in the Temple of Saluna. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. Unfinished business. It seems our fates have aligned. Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. 
is an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his dark justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Wrath has promise, but he has a ways to go yet. He wasn't able to stop Korga by himself. The Grove needs experience and a strong hand. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Indeed, we've quite the journey ahead of us.